do not have any boxing skills and he got power too. Him and Rolly need to fight each other. And I'm a and Rolly, next time I see you, you can you can put your dukes up because I'm gonna punch the f out your ass because whenever I see you in person, you bow down and you be respectful. Yes, period. But then you wanna come in my inbox talking about somebody hating on you. It don't it don't flatter yourself. Is you stupid? <laughs> Hating on Rolly. You sound stupid. I think mean, I can guarantee you that Savannah Marshall can whoop Rolly's ass. <laughs> Shakur gonna whoop Rolly's ass. Dana Haney gonna whoop Rolly's ass. Tia Fimo gonna whoop Rolly's ass. Ryan Garcia gonna whoop Rolly's ass. So Rolly, why your punk ass came uh, came to my inbox? I will square up with you and whoop your ass. <laughs> Literally. I will come to TMT gym and put my and literally put my hands on you. I will embarrass you with all that power you got. I will embarrass you, look. Huh. Those are the words of Clarissa Shields as she responds to <clears throat> Rolly Romero. Now, Rolly Romero uh inboxed her. I don't know everything that he said, but obviously she didn't like it and that pissed her off. We know the mentality that Clarissa Shields has. She will go get you. She will go get you, go get me, go get whoever. But I think, okay, based on what we saw five years ago, I think what we saw that happened to Clarissa because she was in there with someone that he wasn't an out of shape older man. He wasn't vulnerable to certain punches and he had the ability to fight. I think that's the last thing she should, she should be doing. Like, listen, <clears throat> I never like to see any guy put their hands on women. I don't like to see stuff like that. But then, you know, it's always the unwavering voice of someone that's brash coming from uh, the female persuasion that it's a... tempting uh, idea or sight to see when you see stuff like that. You see anyone though, man or woman, you see anyone talking a lot of shit, the, the chances are and the, the, the temptation is, look, somebody shut him up. Somebody shut her up. And it's always a bad thing when you're always eager to do something or to put your hands on someone. And it's like, okay, the quote, Clarissa, you're the quote. There's a reason you're the quote and not the goat. You're not going to do that with everyone. <clears throat> You'll be seriously hurt, especially someone like Rolly Romero. Rolly Romero knocked the dude that knocked you out, but you claim that that guy took padding out of the gloves. And now that guy's trainer is trying to sue you for what you're saying. See, the defamation of character deal or issue, it came about because of what she said that he did. He, she said he pulled some Tyson Fury, alleged Tyson Fury shit that Deontay Wilder claimed that Tyson Fury did type shit. Like taking padding out of the gloves or some Marcos Madonna type stuff that Floyd said that Marcos Madonna said. Okay, allegedly. And I'm like, when is enough enough? You know, and, and it's like, <clears throat> what will, she's, she's complaining about what will damper her, dampen her career and this, that, and the other, but what would dampen your career is you keep calling out these fighters. If they piss you off, learn some anger management and learn how to either ignore them or avoid your response because your response is to seek violence to a male, a male boxer. It would be different if that was any geek on the street, but not probably any just, you know, it had to be a particularly geek, I must, I might add, okay? Let's just, just call it how it is. And that would be different, but you're calling out professional fighters. You're saying these guys have no skills, you, and she may have more skills than those guys, but that doesn't mean you won't get your head knocked off because of those guys. Let me tell you guys something. There is a lot of fighters in the heavyweight division that has more skill than Deontay Wilder, but don't think for a second, Deontay Wilder won't knock you the fuck out. Okay, that's a given. So even if she does, which I think Clarissa Shields is, is, is madly gifted, but at the same, that, that attitude for 
her, I want to fight everybody. That's something else. That's not you claiming you're the best at what you do. You're claiming that, hey, I'll beat everybody up because I get mad at them. That's an attitude of destruction. And I don't mean for them, I mean for you. Because if you're admit on, hey, I'll put hands on you. I'll go there and whoop you and embarrass you. <sighs> Understand, if that guy hits you, and this is not um, our tours, all right? That could seriously hurt you. And then what'll hurt you is your credibility. And you cannot at that point uh, get mad at anybody for posting that shit because now you're saying what you will do. Now people, you know, instigating wise want to find out. They want to find out, okay, you say you can whoop Keith Thurman or you say, you know, you'll whoop Rolly Romero because Rolly Romero disrespected you. Fighting is all is 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 not always the answer. It's not. Fighting is is a reason to fight for, to protect yourself, um, but not if someone says something to you. Because words should never be a reason why you should fight anybody. But all I'm saying is an excuse for you to fight everybody. That's the problem with Clarissa Shields. You know, like the things that she does, it's like okay, hey, you you're tripping. Like you're fighting guys like that, like. And here's the thing, anybody at that point, there are people that will never hit a woman, but there are also people, and I mean people, I mean men. There are also some men, you hit any man or, or that particular guy, he doesn't care who you are, man, woman, cat, dog, he's going to destroy you if he's physically able. And the chances are him destroying you versus you destroying him, you have skill and um, training. They have testosterone uh, size and strength. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen when someone hits you with heavier bone density, being a male, okay, you know, with uh, heightened adrenaline, okay, what happens when he does reach out and touch you back? You're going to see the same shit we saw five years ago. Now, I don't agree with it being posted in... Um, you know, leaked like that because it's been five years ago. So at, at, at one point you're like, okay, well, why are you posting it now? But I think the point was like, you keep running your mouth and talking all this shit. That's why they posted it. And now it's backfiring on you. Now you're mad again, once again at everybody like you was five years ago. So the the whole idea of you thinking that you've, you've, you've grown as a person and this, that, and the other it doesn't really prove that. It shows you that you're still in that same spiral, in that same circle of hatred or anger like you was five years ago. And nothing's really changed. So they're looking at you as a person that can blow your top and become all unraveled and unglued. Okay? And this is the result. And you can end up in a situation that you do not need to be in. Because violence only begets more violence. Honestly. Okay? So I don't want that for Clarissa. I think Clarissa should fight women fighters. You know, leave the men alone. Stop trying to compete in a boxing class or boxing division. Let's put it that way, not boxing class. Stop trying to compete with men <clears throat> because it's unfair to you to do so. It doesn't matter how talented you think you are because now you're dealing with someone that is Maybe not equally talented, but could definitely knock your head off. But anyway, that's my counterpunch of this video. You guys tell me what you think of Clarissa Shields and her rant and her promise and her threats to come to put hands on Rolly Romero. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.